What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to vinyl wrap the spoiler right here on an Audi A4 using one piece of vinyl. The film we're using today is TechWrap Super Gloss HD Khaki Green. This is the color right here. Beautiful color, very unique, super gloss film. Comes with a PET liner, which is a plastic liner on the backing, and then a protective cap on top to help protect it during shipping purposes. The plastic cap on top has to be removed before we install it. I've already cut this piece to the shape and size. Uh, what you've also noticed here is the antenna's cracked. I have to order a new one, but I've also masked the, the window off and the third brake light. This is going to make it much easier to tuck in and down and around these areas here without A, scratching the glass or the third brake light, B, being able to lift the film off and tuck it in a little bit further. Helps a lot. Uh, all we really need for this is some isopropyl alcohol, a heat gun, your regular tools, knife, squeegee, glove, and we're gonna go to town. I'm just gonna wipe this off one more time before I wrap over it. And showing you how to do this in one piece is uh, more or less the key here. I've already wiped the underside edges, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you do a nice thorough job of doing that. I did try to remove the third brake light, but uh, couldn't figure it out. Just didn't want to spend too much time on that. Anyways, we'll work around it. it. Does make things a little bit more interesting when we work around it. Let's just take some heat from our heat gun and dry that off a little bit. That'll accelerate that. Perfect. Let's take our piece of film and get it into position. Again, older car. It's not going to be 100% perfect as far as the condition goes, but it's gonna look a lot better when it's done. I'm just gonna take this corner right here and I'm going to anchor it to the quarter panel. And I'll do the same on the other side. Our piece of vinyl needs to be wide enough to do this. So as you notice, you know, it's, it's fairly wide. We're about, about 10, 11 inches here. The spoiler itself is maybe like five, six inches. So it's not, it's not a huge spoiler. I'm gonna take this off right here and tack this corner down. This is gonna help keep things in place. Could have used magnets, it's totally up to you. Let's bring the camera in to give you a better point of view on what's happening as I pull the film across and remove the release liner. All right, let's lift this up. And again, we're gonna try to just keep the film tight, but not crazy tight, because we're just gonna end up stretching it across anyways. In order to do this in one piece, we have to stretch the film across. Uh, let me just anchor this side down a little bit better, make sure it's fully anchored to the quarter panel. That's good, we want that. And then on this side here, I'm going to lift this corner up and I'm going to pull that back and I'm going to start heating and stretching. Keep your heat gun nearby. All right, the trick here is to heat this area and pull it very tightly across so that the film is actually wrapping itself around the spoiler. How hard do we need to pull? Not, not too, too hard on this one, but you know, give it a fair amount of pull and stretch. Okay, it's probably warm enough. Let's just stick that there. Our hands need to be spread apart and we need to keep the film as flat as possible when we do this. Again, we're just gonna keep that nice and tight. And you can see now, as I put my film down right there, that the film actually wraps around the underside. The top is very solid, I have like one wrinkle up top there. We'll deal with that in a moment. Let's do this side now. Okay, so we're gonna lift up the film, come up to about halfway again, and somewhere around there. And again, I haven't anchored the film to the actual panel yet. Makes it much easier to lift it uh, when we need to do this on, on this side. So I'm just heating the film enough so that it feels pliable stretchable. We're going to take our hand again, spread them apart, pull the film nice and tight, coming all the way down, almost to the ends. Um, we'll, do, we'll deal with the end in a moment. We need to tighten this area up because there's just too much slack to push down in that area right there. Slip that up again. You'll notice that sometimes one side might end up resulting a little bit in a better position than the other side. That's okay. It happens. And just take it back and you can always correct it a bit. Again, we're pulling somewhat around there and making sure that this area is nice and tight and that the film is pulling itself down, here, down into this area. So the same thing goes up here. Pull it right out to the top corner. 
I'm just gonna add a bit of tension to it with my left hands. Heat it, so I'm not even gonna move my hands. See it's not moving. And gently keep the film flat. Excellent. All right, we're gonna work into the deep part of the recess right off the bat right there. Like as I did on the other side, I just didn't explain that on the other side. And that is all good there. Let's keep going here. We're gonna to wanna to wrap around the edges slightly. So we will do that momentarily. Let's do this bottom section here. Now what I wanna do first is make sure that this edge is all nice and tight and nice and smooth. As I cut the film away, it will rest on the tape. So right now, a lot of this film is resting on the glass, right? Let's cut this away. I have to make sure that I leave myself enough. So what, well, what I will do is lift this up, sorry, just so I can see where the third brake light ends, which is somewhat right there. Cool, see, now it's gonna start wrapping in even further. Let's lift under here as well, lift this up as well so I can look under here, right there. The film doesn't typically stick to masking tape, so that's one thing to keep in mind. It's a beautiful thing to use. It helps tremendously using masking tape. Let's see what happens just by heating this area here now. Uh, let's just lift it off of the glass right there. Look at that. It's, I didn't even heat it yet. Let's do it right here. Set that up right there. Okay, so now we're mainly off the glass. Let's start heating from the middle, because that's where we start a lot of our stretch from, right? And that film's gonna pull itself tight all the way down, all the way across. Same thing here. Let's keep going, let's get this off the glass again. Sometimes I have to just hold it up a bit. Good. Again, making sure there's no air bubbles or anything in these edges. But so far, so good. Okay, so I can really feel that pull itself in there. That is, Basically, the film is, is self-wrapping, or, the, or the, the spoiler is self-wrapping when we pull it in the right direction. I need to find the end of the light, the third brake light, which is right there. And then now what we have to do is we have to take the film and keep it flat and bring it in to the recess without stretching it down into the recess or down into this area in here. As we come along, it's gonna, it might get bunched up. So what we do when it gets bunched up is we just add a bit of heat and then a little bit of tension and that will go away. But we don't stretch at this point. See, a little bit of tension and a little bit of heat. And then again, I'm lifting off of the glass or lifting off of the tape so that I can tuck this in there really nicely, just like so. Let's make sure we go over, use your fingers sometimes, it helps. Make sure you get all the air out of there. Just have this little bit to do right here. There we go. This is a trickier spot over here. It's all right, we got it. Beauty. Looking really good. Let's do the same thing over there. What I'm gonna do now is check my, the light itself, make sure I can really, truly define the edge. Now it would have been, again, much nicer to take this out, so if you know how to do it, go for it much nicer or easier in that sense and we don't run the risk of maybe potentially showing some red now, as we wrap there's limitations to how far we can wrap into certain areas sometimes if we don't remove these things so I'm gonna cut right here and we're cutting on the third brake light side I'm just gonna look very carefully and down here down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on the third brake light on that tape and score the film because that's going to allow me to, a little bit of extra vinyl to tuck in there just a little bit further. Uh, I noticed that the red shows a little bit more there. That's why on that very bottom corner. So paying attention to small things like that will help you achieve a better end result. Let's come across here now. It's a little bit more tricky on this side for me. And let's go again on the third brake light and just make sure I leave myself that little extra buffer to tuck in and down around that corner of the third brake light. Just a tiny corner in each side that shows a little bit more red than the rest of it. 
What we'll do now is we're going to cut in the gap on the window side. There's a gap here. And the film is slightly pre-tucked into this area. So again, if we look hard enough, we will see red. But that's, you have to look very closely for that. And then outside here, I'm going to trim out and bring this out, out like that. Should be good there. So we'll have to go over that with heat, so we're not done yet. Just FYI, I'm going to double check this, make sure that we're still you know, pre-tucked into this edge. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. Everything looks good. Always double checking, triple checking your cuts. Super, 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 super important. Because once you cut, there's no going back. Great. Let's come in here. You notice that I didn't start right at the very end, right? It's just easier to start inside and then work your way out. In here, let's cut out. Oh, and then now, I'm going to start here and then finish that off. A lot of this vinyl that's on the top side will, will just wrap itself in and around where the third brake light is. Just by me heating it like that. Because we added our tension, which pulls across. Now let's get in here. Sometimes my squeegee is too wide to fit in there. No, it fits. We're good. Sometimes you have to flip it. I do tend to prefer to start with the, this buffer side first, which is the blue edge, the felt tip. What we're going to do now is trim the back edge. I'm going to give myself plenty to tuck in and around here. Uh, why not? I can just trim on the roof side. Right? This will allow me to also open, open it up because we're going to open it up and leave a bunch of film here. I should have put masking tape on the actual quarter panel. It would have helped. It's all right. OK, now that I have this elevated, it's easier to access the underside edge, even if I go up a little bit higher. See, it's going to make things a little bit easier. So let's heat it. We're going to make sure that we're wrapping around this edge, because we do have tension here. We want to make sure that we wrap around this edge. And the same thing for right down here. So this one gets a little bit tricky. Let's take this, let's tuck the vinyl in a little bit further. And then this corner here is gonna get interesting. So I'm gonna trim out some more film, cutting in the gap of the window. Now that I've got the rest in there, this is what I needed. I needed access to this area right here, so lifting it up makes a big difference. Let's see what happens when I heat it right here. Okay, not a whole lot. Um, yeah, and I can actually just sort of pull the film around very gently. And again, if you want to wrap around a little further because you might have some more tension on your edge, that won't hurt at all. It's not a bad idea. Oh, the hood's lifting a bit, so the roof trunk is lifting a bit. That's all right. Okay, so we're just going to go under all that, and we're going to hit up this back edge right here and get more of that film around. Now that the, now that the back edge is all the way up, I can actually even squeeze some of the film down from this side from the underside over here. So I can come in under the trunk and I can actually start rolling some of this around, right? And that actually locks it in on the back side a little bit better for us. So it will be the same thing on the other side as far as this goes. I'm gonna trim off my excess material underneath, a little bit tricky to reach. Yep. Let's come in right under here. It's tricky to reach, like I said. I have, the, I have it too high up. I could lower it. There we go. We're going to heat that one more time and then exactly repeat on the other side. So heat this up. Give it a solid post heat on those edges. Very important. Okay. If you have tension on your edges, you're always going to want to post heat your edges, but even if you have tension, it's going to be even more critical. Awesome. That's pretty much it for the spoiler wrap. One piece using Tech Wrap Super Gloss HD Khaki Green. Showed you how to do it. Looks a lot cleaner than using a seam across the edge. You can, however, use a seam across the edge. I haven't tried really seams yet with the film, but I'm sure it hides it very well because Super Gloss usually, or very glossy films, usually hide seams extremely well. Uh, we'll get more into that stuff in later videos. 
For the meantime, I hope this one was informative, detailed, and helpful. I look forward to doing more videos for you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.